Hey everybody, Jay Barino here. I want to talk a bit about the release of Warcraft 3 Reforged and what it means for my channel, as we now know a lot more things than we did before the release, where I had plans, best laid plans of mice and men. Uh, I'm going to have to rethink those plans. And I'll explain why. I don't want to get too in-depth, because frankly, there's such an information overload of the same repetitive questions, statements, complaints, uh, defenses of the game that there's really no point in me going into them much more. Uh, I bought the game because I felt that videos for the game would be great gateways into the rest of my channel and it's functioning well in that way. Uh, I knew what I was going to get with the campaigns and I think some of the quality of life changes that they made to the campaigns are fine. If you bought the game just for the campaigns, it's really hard for me to say I would recommend that. I don't know. It's really up to you your, and your disposable income and your expectations. But the campaign missions are fine. A few of them have been remade. They added a, a couple extra into the prologue. Uh, damaged only health and mana bars. Team color health bars. The fact that you can stack consumables. There are auto saves now. Um, minor lore Easter eggs added in here or there. I do like how they remove the idea of a split Reign of Chaos and the Frozen Throne, and the Frozen Throne armor and damage types are just persistent through the whole game now, as well as upkeep with the splits at 50, 80, and 100 for the uh, no upkeep, low upkeep, high upkeep. And uh, there is still a classic option to play the campaigns as they used to be. So that's all fine. And again, I, I'm just going to say I don't really play custom games online besides the campaigns which I have to talk more about, and that's probably the most important thing that's topical to my channel. And I don't play ladder, where there's also a slew of problems and a bunch of features that people still want that are on the docket. Um, so I, again, I can't really comment on how important those are to you, or how broken they are, or how not broken they are. I don't know. So I'm not going to bother having an opinion on these things. And that's a lesson a lot of people can learn, which is you don't need an opinion on every single thing. Uh, so let's talk about custom campaigns. And first, to premise, let me explain what the Reforged update did. Whether you purchased Reforged or not, your Warcraft 3 game was updated to 1.32. What that means is when you open it, whether you own Reforged or not, you see the new Reforged menu. So even if you only have Classic, you see the Reforged menu. By buying Reforged, what you've done is you've unlocked the ability to turn on the Reforged graphics settings in the campaign, custom games, laddering. What has happened in 1.32 is that there is no longer a custom campaigns menu. So what the custom campaigns menu allowed you to do was to open campaign files. Campaign files are bundles of maps, and they allow you to trigger one map into the next, and it saves your hero progress and creates saves, save files for each individual campaign. So therefore, when your hero reaches a certain level of experience, they retain that, they retain their items. If you're a campaign like Legends of Arcane, for example, that uses choices and bank data, that's all saved in the campaign save file. Now, again, the custom campaign menu to run those is gone. It's just not there. Whether you bought Reforged or not, the latest update is not there. So if you want to have that functionality, you would have to downgrade to a cracked version of the old game. There's no official way to have an older version of the game. You're going to upgrade. You're going to be updated to the 1.32 latest version when you log into Battle.net. So that's really disappointing. I had relatively low expectations. It's very hard for me to be disappointed with a media release. And again, the, the reason that I bought this in the first place was to, uh, to have more visibility into what my channel is about. And it's, it's working on that front. But now I can't play custom campaigns through the official release of the game. And I'm going to have to get a different version in order to play uh, custom campaigns. Now, what I think I can do is I can run each individual map through the online custom games lobbies, but I don't know if that would save my progress from mission to mission, and it would just be an all-around pain in the butt. Uh, and this is why I think StarCraft II campaigns, for example, a lot fewer are uploaded on the arcade, and a lot fewer of them utilize bank data, because you only have the arcade and the SC2 arcade, same thing. There's no custom campaign function. It really only exists in a Warcraft 3. It wasn't there in Brood War either. And, uh, and so you can't save that progress from mission to mission, which is the whole point of a campaign, is to have some sort of progression, some sort of, even just a mission launcher that unlocks missions along the way. You could track your progress. It's very little things like that, which is what defines a campaign versus just a mission to a mission to a mission. That's my opinion how I view it, so I think that's quite important. What we don't know is if it's going to get added back in. So right now, Reddit, Hive Workshop, my Discord, my YouTube comments... The Battle.net forums are just flooded again with those same repetitive statements, critiques, defenses 
just over and over and over. It's the same stuff. So if you find something new and interesting to add to the topic, then I think it's important that it's posted somewhere pertinent. But for me, I just have to wait. I'm just going to wait for a couple of weeks and sort of let the noise die down and then see if we get some sort of direction from the devs on what they're planning to add. Because again, with the custom campaigns in particular, it's hard for me to know whether it's gone for good or it's on a docket somewhere to add back in. I have no idea and nobody knows. And there are reasons to think it will get added back in, for example, because um, my campaign folder in the file structure is still there. Back when StarCraft II had a big update in Heart of the Swarm that changed the file structure of the game, they completely wiped your maps and mods folders. That was frustrating. Uh, here in Warcraft 3 with this 1.32 update, the campaign's folder is still there. My campaign saves, my custom campaign saves are still there. So that, on one hand, gives me a little hope. I'm more skeptical because StarCraft II is the example of a more modern, always online game that removed the that that didn't have any sort of ability to play a bundled campaign file in any way. You couldn't upload bundles of maps on the arcade and have them unlock one into the next. So that to me is sort of a an indicator of the path in which they're taking, which is you know ditch this functionality. I don't know. Again, nobody knows. I, also, in the map editor, apparently there's still the ability to bundle maps and create campaign files. There's the campaign editor that still exists in the world editor, but there's no way in the game to run those files. So either they forgot to remove that from the world editor or they're planning to re-add custom campaigns. The point is we, we can speculate and we can think of reasons one way or the other, but we just don't know. And I think there are reasons that are fine in either case. I'm sort of past the point of giving uh, the benefit of the doubt to assume we will get something. Uh, I'm just hopeful, that's all. If not, uh, for my channel, it's not that big of a deal. I'll just get a downgraded version of the game and business will continue as usual. Uh, it's just disappointing because that's just going to just terribly destroy the audience that map makers have of people actually playing their stuff. Like my audience will probably remain the same if not grow, but there'll be fewer people uh, with the means to actually play it because you're adding a huge barrier of entry requiring people to find and download and install a totally different version of the game, which doesn't seem like a big deal to some, but again, think of it across the entire slew of the Warcraft 3 demographic. Um, having it native and built into the game opens it up to a huge, huge, huge audience, and not having that uh, is a big detriment. That's unfortunate. So again, these are just my thoughts on the game. I see the campaigns, again, as being fine and having positives. I, I have no opinion on laddering or custom games. I hope they bring back local custom game lobbies, but that's the same with custom campaigns. There's really no way to know, and I, I really don't know why it was removed in the first place, because it existed, and when you update to a new patch, they shouldn't just be removing functionality. That's just my opinion, unless they have a specific reason, which we haven't heard yet. I don't know. Again, I, I'm just sort of speculating here. But this is important to my channel because obviously two days a week, I release a custom campaign video from Warcraft 3. Now, until this gets explained in some way and I have to decide what I'm going to do by downgrading my game or whatever, uh, I'm just going to release some different stuff on those days. I've got the Warcraft 3 Reforged campaigns coming out, which are obviously doing their job and bringing in new people. And uh, they'll check out the other playlists of other stuff. But... Um, that's going to be my Warcraft 3 content for the time being, and I'm going to wait probably two, maybe three weeks to see if we get any information on this, at which point I'll probably then get a downgraded version of the game and then continue business as usual with, with finding older campaigns. Now, what this also means is fewer people are going to be making stuff, uh, so I'm eventually going to run out of stuff to play because there's not going to be anything new for people to be, uh, to be playing, but there's still a plethora of, of existing stuff that I can play on 1.292 or whatever. Um, so yeah, right now, basically the message for me is keep calm, carry on, unless you're someone who plays Warcraft 3 for the online matchmaking, at which point, yes, there's a lot of issues, and unfortunately, uh, we're all just sort of screwed until we get some, some development updates. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think I've got some StarCraft 1 Brood War interesting stuff to put out. I'm playing some Direct Strike. I've got some more Map Arena addendum videos. Uh, so the, the schedule's going to be a little weird over the next... A uh, couple weeks while I'm deciding what to do, and eventually I'll just get a downgraded version of the game and get back to, to Warcraft 3 custom campaigns. So that's the, that's the state of the channel right now. Again, the schedule's just going to be a little weird. I don't have a planned schedule for when I'm going to release the Reforged campaign videos either. Obviously, I released a bunch in the first day. There might be days where I release none. There might be days where I release two or three. It's just how much time I have at a given time to upload these. And my upload speed where I currently live is very, very slow. So that also has a big effect on, on how quickly I can get videos out. So uh, I'm not really in a rush per se, uh, but really when I have free time, I'm just going to record a bunch and then just put them right up. I'm not going to necessarily schedule them over a set period of time. So we'll see how it goes. 
uh, really across the board. But thanks for everyone for watching and sticking through. If you're new to the channel, I don't know why you would have watched this whole video, but welcome. And uh, I hope you're enjoying, and I'll see everyone next time.